YouTubers at work. Look who it is! What up, what up, what up, what up, what up, what up? <laughs> and will let me steal some subscribers from you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Look who's up bright and early for breakfast. Uru. <laughs> This guy is such a trooper. This is like the first time we've traveled with Huru as a toddler. Um, and I know I'm sounding so dramatic. I think I'm just one of those moms who panics. I'm like, oh, it's, you know, because before when we traveled with him, we would stay at apartments, we would cook his food. We would basically, it would be like home away from home. But this was the first time we were like, nah, he's two and a half. Um, Hemingway's has been so amazing because they've helped us with his menu. I'm just very pedantic about what my son eats. Maybe other people may come and I mean, and to each their own, but for me, I was like, it has to have no spices, very little oil. Um, and he's been eating the food really well. They've been so accommodating in terms of what he, you know, in terms of cooking for him. They've been fantastic, even in terms of helping us get a few things. And they've just made the stay very comfortable. And for me, as long as this little guy is okay, we're okay, um, Eddie and I. So we're the only ones up. I don't see anybody. It's pretty empty, huh? For breakfast because I am starving. I wake up starving. Are you hungry? Now Huru wants my attention so I'm just gonna give it to him and I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. YouTubers at work. Look who it is! What up, what up, what up, what up, what up, what up? <laughs> and will let me steal some subscribers from you. Okay, okay now. Uh, tell yourself, tell yourself. This is uh, Sharon Mashira. <laughs> Everybody knows her, but okay. <laughs> I'm a YouTuber as well. Uh -huh. So please check out my YouTube channel. Sharon and I met a couple of years ago. She obviously she was an anchor at K24. Mm -hmm. And then, even then, yeah. she had a hunger to. You're killing my street cred. I know. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. So for those of us who anchors for 10 years, <laughs> gee thanks. But she had a hunger to do more. And what I love about her is that she's just grown into this very authentic, creative individual. So, and it's a cool thing that you started off there. So you got a little feel of TV. Yeah, she now she's on radio. She's on Homeboys Radio. She has a show every Saturday and Sunday at yes, what time? Um, six in the morning to nine. So yeah. whenever you're leaving the club, just tell your taxi driver, I'm going to have a little bit <laughs> and I'll be there to let you know what's happening yeah. in the 254 and beyond. Exactly. And then of course she's... <laughs> Tell us a little bit about Backdrop Agency. Right. Oh my god. So uh, I also have a baby. You're not the only mom. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Rumors. You ain't. Rumors. <laughs> no, me have to be keep up. But anyway, we'll get into <laughs> that next. <laughs> so yes, now I've got a, a content production house called Backdrop Agency and we create content across industry. So if you're looking for videographers, cinematographers, for commercials, for vlogs, anything, just you know, hit me up, send me a DM. You can catch me on Instagram at the TVJ. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so. that's an awesome pitch. That's how you pitch, guys. <laughs> Take note. So yeah, we. It's just crazy that we're both in Watamu on the same weekend. This was no. not planned so at all. She's here on holiday. Yes. I'm here for work. I'm still trying to convince people yeah. to take me on holiday. Just me as one person. <laughs> Janet rocked up with the whole squad. With the whole squad. Her husband, her child, her nanny, the photographer, as in girl. That's those, how I roll. Those are influencers. Oh, and today as we're filming, it's her birthday. So happy birthday, oh, yeah, Sharon. Thank you. She's turning 45, but she looks amazing. Yeah. <laughs> she's 25, and she's done so much for age. It's very cool, but very nice. Oh, I can see my son and my hubby. Where are they? They're in the pool. Can you see him in this pool? Your little... son is the cutest little thing I've ever I seen. I want to go like just his cheeks. Do you ever just like <laughs> baby fever? Oh, yeah, baby fever. yeah. Oh. She'll come and babysit. Yay! Okay. Of course. Okay. Cool. We'll see you guys in a bit. Yeah, I'm ready to get back to vlogging. I know. <laughs> so this is us getting ready to get into a border border. And we were told Crab Shack is an amazing place to try out, which is in Watamu, not too far from the hotel. Because the thing about what they do here at Hemingway is they encourage people to also try out other places to eat. Hey, who this? So it shouldn't be too far, and I have a serious craving for seafood every time I'm at the coast, so can't wait to dig in. And he's already eating this game for some more. So yeah, once we get there, hopefully we'll be able to sample lots of yummy, yummy, yummy seafood. I'm hungry again. Huru, is that blue tuk tuk for us? Yeah. This is going to be Huru's first time in a tuk tuk. Imagine. Hello, Jambo. Zuri. We're going on the road in a tuk 
You hold my hand tight, okay? See the bridge? See this bridge? Let's go. And then we go down, 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 and go all the way to where the restaurant is. Yeah? Hold my hand. No, hold my hand. Don't let go of my hand. What is that inside? That's sand. This is so scary. Look at the view at Crab Shack. I mean, it's honestly so zen and they also do canoe rides here it's a it's a couple of kilometers from Hemingway's hotel and really a lot of the hotels here but it's just a nice um, unique change around from just staying in the hotel this is a look at the place in a snapshot guys I didn't know I was such a scary cat I think I don't know why this water body has me freaking out so Eddie who and Moss have gone on a bit of a hike and walk. This is them taking in and soaking in their surroundings but it is so stunning. We've ordered a mixed seafood platter because apparently it's epic over here so seafood. Can't wait. Good morning! It is 5.55 a.m. Don't ask me why I have a bold red lip on. This is just motivation. We're supposed to go fishing here at Hemingway's Watamuso with a guide and with my hubby. I'm so impressed. Eddie woke up for this. Moss, um, our videographer, is coming. So we're about to have some breakfast. It's been raining a little bit. Um, and so we can only make a decision to go out at about 6.30 in the morning. Um, we're hoping we can. I'm looking forward to it. I don't remember the last time I went fishing. It must have been years and years ago. So we're about to have some brekkie and then we head out. Okay. Yeah, Eddie. That's how you holiday. See? I'm very brave. Oh God, look at that. It's beautiful. Preparing the bait. Let me see if I can get close up of that. The fishing lines in place. Eddie is so ready for this. Running it in. <laughs> I realized I hadn't given you guys a proper tour of Hemingway's Watamu so why don't we do this um, I've pretty much shown you the dining area the bedrooms the coffee shop There's an excursions office here which I would advise everyone to visit the moment they get here because what happens is that they give you an idea of the different things you can do, the different activities which is important for you to line up. So let's see if we can go find our captain for the day. He's the guy who we went out on the boat with. My name is Jackson. 
and what kind of activities would you encourage people to do when they get here? Fishing. Just Dolphin fishing. Watching. Yeah. Dolphin watching, snorkeling. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then there's a DAO, guys, but you need to be eight people. So come as two families if you can, because you don't want to miss out. The only thing I have is a picture. A very nice one over here. That's what the DAO looks like. It's a sunset cruise. Isn't that nice? They even call it a romantic cruise, so that's nice for the couples. And this is sport fishing, which is really big at Hemingway's Watamu. And the thing about fishing that I've learned from him is that you need to be really patient. Patience, yeah. Sometimes how long can it take you to catch, especially the marlins, because that's what's popular here, right? Yeah, the blue marlin. Yeah. So roughly how long can that take you? Uh, it depends anyway, if you're on a full day or on a half day. Mm -hmm. If you're a half day, five hours, you're lucky enough, you can get a marlin. Yeah. But uh, we normally hunt them for a long distance, so you need 10 hours, which is 6.30 in the morning, back at 4.30. Yeah, I know Not sure I can handle that, know, but then you told me the longest you've been out there is what, two days? Uh, 36 hours. Wow. 36 hours. What was going on? It was just a comp. Yeah. We have a comp here in, in what? What's comp? Competition. Oh, okay, competition. right, comp, okay. Yeah. It was very nice to meet all of you. Thank you. Thank you. And Thank I hope you. I'll see you soon. I hope to see you again. Okay. Let's continue with our tour. So, this is basically outside the excursions office, which leads all the way to the dining area which you already saw oh yeah wait there's the bar there's a bar we were here briefly it's pretty dark right now so there's not much to see here other than some of the beautiful catches that have been caught out at sea hammerhead shark i've never seen one of those up close not sure i want to this is the side i didn't really venture into much um only a little bit but let's take a look at that that's another pool so this is where my husband and son were swimming in the first vlog that you saw this is the main pool absolutely stunning there we go that's a view of it and the nice thing is you're swimming but you have the view of the beach which is awesome and then these are the apartments i'm also told there's renovations going on so if you hear any drilling sounds and whatnot it's because there's renovations going on so that's Quickly. Oh, these sandals are from Backyard Shoes, guys. You like, you like, you like? I love them. They're so comfortable. So they've become my new friend and companion at the coast. This is basically a view of Hemingway's Watamu. That's a beautiful garden there. Ooh, it looks like there's a bench here. What is this? This is like a sunbed. Sort of looked like a bench from here. What I really, really admire about I will stay here over the last two days. It's just how accommodating they are. And then there's a spa. Hello. Good. So I actually totally realized I need a little bit of a massage. I didn't book. So Isabel might be like, sorry, Miss Janet, we no, can't no, help we you. I accommodate you. You need to relax. I you do. Before you go. I do. I need something maybe for 30 minutes, yes. even less. Yes. I just want something. I something yeah. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, how could I forget this was here? So let me just do a quick tour no of the spa if you don't mind, if you could show me. Yes. Okay, let's go. Okay. Francisca is also with me, actually. Okay, I think I saw her. So, hi, Francisca, how are you? Okay, thank you. Okay, so this is one of the massage rooms. Okay. Right. This is nice. This is so cozy. That's great. This is the shower. Okay, it's got how many rooms about? Four rooms. Four rooms, yeah. okay. This is where I'm gonna be in a bit, guys. Mm -hmm. Just for a short moment, yes, yes. some nice products over here. You know what I love most about spas is that smell of like tea tree or eucalyptus everywhere. And I'm just looking forward to some, maybe 30 minutes of something. It's raining outside, it's drizzling. And so at least you can come here for that. And my son has, I just took him in for a bit of a rinse. He's chilling in the room, my husband's resting, my phone is ringing. So let me answer that and then get into a massage. First, I need to find your diaper. Yes. Perfect. Tembe watamu. Mm-hmm. 
Thank you.